Hello, today I would like to show you very quickly, very briefly, how to fix this beautiful Raven Ultrasonic Mist Humidifier. This device is already open, that's because I was purchasing a spare part from China and I had to wait over a month, so it was kind of sitting on my desk and we are recording after I've got everything diagnosed. So let's take a look what was the problem. The problem was that from the user interface everything was working fine, but the mist didn't don't get out from the shoot. And you can see the mist by the, the plexiglass. And if you blow here, the smoke, the mist was actually getting out. So what was the problem? The problem was in this motor. Here we've got a blower motor that have uh, one task of just removing the, the smoke, the mist from the chamber and spitting it out via the shoot. And lucky me, lucky we, this is a very common type of fan slash blower. And I managed to buy exactly the same part, exactly the same size for uh, around one dollar. And this is very important to understand that this is not a very expensive unit. And if you would like to fix it, purchasing a fan like this from a local store, it would render it completely useless because of the cost of the part. It will be, if you add the part and the labor, it would not be worth. But with a $1 part, it was a great deal. Just one thing that you have to understand, here is the model number and that's the dimensions of the fan slash blower. Then we've got a voltage and the most important part is current. And the current is going to determine what kind of sound does it going to make. Because you can buy ex exactly the same four factor that are designed to be used like in the server or in a power supply and they've got extremely high volume of airflow and they are going to be loud. So make sure that you see what's the current rating and if it's a uh, very, very low, that means this is, will be a quiet model. That's exactly what you want in device like this. What are the most common problem? First of all, as you can see, there is a lot of lime scale. To remove it, I'm usually using a citric acid, food grade. I put it, pour it with some water and it's going to be completely dissolve. If it doesn't work after that operation, grab your finger and touch the element. If you can feel like an oil, that's most likely because someone pour a, a scent oil and it go and attach to the element and it's not going to make the, the mist. In that case, you have to use like a isopropyl alcohol to clean it out. Let's take a look at the another thing. Here we've got the float switch. This element is being lifted up by a water and it's going to turn the humidifier on or off. So if you are going to do a testing, you can put a tiny amount of water and you can lift it manually. Here is the chute that is blowing out air using the motor inside. So it is a pretty simple device. I've got it already open. And we can see what we've got inside. Here is the piezoelectric element. Here we can see some sheet of metal. 
and it is going to be a ground for a negative ion generator. This is the negative ion generator. It's going to create a half voltage and it should create the ions. The other electrode is in the fan shoot. We've got the power supply. We've got the driver board. And this is how it looks like. This is a quite complicated model because it has a sensor for detecting the humidity. But all of this is working fine. We are interested in that area because this is where the fan is going to be mounted. As you can see, if you do not buy exactly the same model, there is a tiny amount of ad possible adjustment to fit a correct spot. But we've got a one-to-one -one match. Okay, we are very nicely mounted. We've got a perfect match. Now we are going to attach our fan. And the connector for the fan is located here. Looks like we've got a different type of plug. And I would have to replace it. We've got a very beautiful job. As you can see, we've got the new fan with the old plug and I can nicely plug it in. Now we are going to add some zip ties to organize our wiring. We don't want anything to be touching. Just like that not touching but rubbing and rattling around so as you can see we've got a very nice job and now we are going to be able to try it out We've got a beeping, most likely because of lack of the water. I'm going to add some water. The flow switch is being raised. We can try to power it on. And as you can hear, the fan is blowing. Not sure if you can see this. I'm pretty sure you can see it. It's misting really nicely. And as you can see, we've got a perfect, very quick, very good fix. And this device is working again just by replacing a one dollar part so thank you very much for watching i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye